Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how you can send automatic email reminders out very easily and for free. There may be many reasons that you want to send out automatic email reminders either for yourself or for customers, vendors, just to remind somebody to do something. And with this great website here, you can do emails or texts and they do have a free service you can use. And you can scroll through and see here that uh, there's some pretty big names that are using this service as well. What you gotta do is create an account and you can log in if you already have an account. And when I log in, the first thing I see is a list of my emails and texts that I have set up and I don't have a lot right now. I also, because I kind of went over a little bit, I'm using a free account just so I can show you. And it's reminding me that I'm over my quota and to consider upgrading. So once I click on that, it takes me to the list of the pricing, which you can see the free one allows you to send 50 emails a month or one text message a month. So if you need more than that, then for 10 bucks a month, basically you can do 500 emails or 500 texts and the $20 mark, you got 10,000 emails that you can do and 2000 texts. Depends how much you need to send out, but you can start with the free one and see how that works. We'll go up to manage and that basically takes us to the home screen. Now, understanding the messages and the limits on the quota, the 50 messages would be, for example, if you have 50 people in this one reminder and you send that out once, you just used up 50 of the emails for that month. And you would have to wait until the first of the next month before your quota gets reset again. Now you can turn on and off these different reminders and you can see that the first one here is off right now because I kind of went over and the other one is on right now so it's in blue saying to turn it off. You can go into edit any one of these or even just click into view the details. Uh, if I go into this one here, I can see the uh, people that I'm sending it to and I'm CCing and if I had anyone BCC'd on here. It even tells me the dates when the emails were sent out and how many people were included in each email. And it tells you how many people opened them. I'm going to hide the details here. Here we've got uh, an example. We can go into uh, edit to edit the changes, viewing the details we did and here I can delete that alert from here. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yep. And it's gone. Before we go into creating a new message, let's have a look at the settings. So this is where you can look at uh, what the plan is that you have. You've got your contacts. So it gives you a list of uh, who's all in your address book basically. What the plan is that you currently have, your email address and that it's been verified for sending. You can change your password from here, setting your time zone, which is very important for the time that the emails are sent out because if the time zone is different, it's not going to send at the time that you schedule it for. You can request a CSV backup and when you do that, then it will take you to this other page and tells you that the backup will be sent to you shortly. You can view a list of all the bounces that you've gotten and currently I don't have any. With the display name you can put any name you want so it'll help to identify who you are to the person that's receiving your message. So it's important to put something so they'll know it's you even though it doesn't come from your email address. At the bottom, you could turn off this to include the link to send recurring in the footer of the emails, but because you're using a free service, it is a good idea to allow that. Most companies force this on you, but here they're allowing you to turn that off, which is really nice and unnecessary considering that you're not paying for the service. Any changes you make, just hit save. So. If we go to manage, that's basically the home page, And that's what we saw when we first logged in. So aside from viewing these things, you've got a new email, you can do a new poll or send text messages. So let's create a new email. Here you'll put in the email of who you're going to send it to. And then you got your subject. And then here's where we got the options for when you want these messages to go out. 
So starting from the top, we got daily. You can have it send every single day or every two days, three days, and so on. Or you can specify every weekday. So then, you know, exclude the weekends, just every day of every week, just only the weekdays. Weekly, you've got every single week on Monday or whatever day of the week or maybe you want to have it twice a week or whatever you can really customize this and it'll be every week on those days or every two weeks on those days or whatever you choose here for how often. With monthly you've got the first of every month or you can choose second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever you want of every month or every two months, whatever works for you. And the other option every month would be the first, second, third, or last whatever day of the week on every month. So you would just say maybe the last Thursday of every single month or the second Thursday or whatever day of the week of every single month rather than the specific day of the month for each month. If we look at annually, you would just basically put in the date here and it'll send every single year on February 17th, for example. If we want to change the start date, it'll assume maybe today if we're, we're saying from today, but uh, we're specifying every year on the 17th. So I'm gonna put 17th on this one. And if you wanna put an end date, you can or just leave it empty. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Just pick a time and the date that would actually make sense because we're doing the 17th, so we'll keep it at the 17th. So this is gonna last for four years. But it is optional, so you don't have to put a start or end date. The time to send, you'll be able to specify what time on this schedule the message will go out at. So on this date, this is the time. And then it's confirming down here when it's gonna be sent. You could turn on to make this plain text so it's more deliverable and make sure it's not gonna get triggered to spam with HTML or rich text. Also, you could make this a one time and what it's gonna do is automatically turn this reminder off after it sends out the first time. And the off send date, now this is interesting, it's zero by default, but if we wanna go uh, back or ahead up to a week, so you got seven days, but if we say the second Tuesday of every month, but for whatever reason we gotta offset that by two days, then that's gonna work out to be on Sunday. So it won't send on the Tuesday, it'll in, instead send it out on the Sunday. Down here, you would just simply put in your content. You can put in your signature and whatever it is that you uh, want in this message at all. There's no limit. And you've got all the common features here for bold, italic, underline, justification, and you've got the different fonts and font sizes and so on. Once you have everything set up the way you want, you just go down to save. And now it's there and it's turned on, ready to go. And if you click view details, it gives you a little bit of the message of what is gonna be sent out and that no messages have been sent yet. You can see a summary of what was uh, sent in this past month. So I can see in my case, 56 emails were sent out of the 50 that I'm allowed in the free one. So I'm over by 112%. And so I'm not gonna be able to send out anymore until I either upgrade my account or wait until the beginning of the next month when this counter will reset. And if I wanna keep sending out messages like that, then I'm gonna to have to upgrade. It also tells me how many texts were sent and the quotas, it reminds you here what I just said, that they're gonna reset on the first day of every month. They do have some FAQs and the pricing and that information here. And if you needed to contact the developer, he's got his email address right here. But hopefully this video answered most of your questions. So how would using this service benefit you? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.